welcome to Bosch Connected World here in Berlin. And I have the honor and pleasure to talk to Christopher Palo. Hi. You're heading the AI center for Bosch, yeah. which is an innovative type yeah, of center absolutely. with all type of great research. Yeah. And you've developed as one of the persons the codex for ethical AI within Bosch. Can you explain why this is so important for Bosch and for the world basically as well, I well, think? I did not develop it myself. It was from Bosch mm -hmm. to Bosch. Mm -hmm. So a lot of associates were involved in that. And I sort of um, um, uh, was very active in that process, but it, it's more than a one-man effort, of course. Yeah, so there was from, from really all departments and all, all different levels, uh, people were involved, because this is a topic which is really important for Bosch. And you can talk about it for, for hours, but why is it so important for Bosch? Well, Bosch is a technological company, mm -hmm. and but has a very strong ethos. So uh, this um, uh, this invented for life, or in German, Technik fürs Leben, mm -hmm. is really in the core DNA of Bosch. It's not just marketing; it's uh, like uh, like people feel, and uh, people were um, there were voices which were concerned about could AI, because uh, some people consider AI might be dangerous or so, might put things at risk. And how will AI behave to this ethos of Bosch? And so it was important for the company to set up rules and clear guidance how AI should fit in our engineering process and in our, uh, in our paradigm of invented for life, not to, um, to endanger it, but to support it. And, come up with even even uh, more interesting products which have adaptivity, learnability, and AI embedded in that. And so we uh, we provide this guidance now in the codex. And talking about this, let's say, danger that people talk about, what is the message that you have, what AI is for the larger audience, and can you give some example of this? Yeah, so I, AI is an, is a difficult topic, mm -hmm. right? And I always try to, um, to make it understandable with the notion of an intelligent agent. So an agent, an artificial agent, which behaves in a, in a way that it follows its goal according to the principle of rationality. Mm -hmm. From outside perspective, you could consider it as intelligent being since it follows rational its goals. Mm -hmm. And so this is uh, perhaps what, what AI is. Um, being able to, uh, to interact with the environment by means of perception, of planning and acting. Mm -hmm. So this is basic architecture of an AI system. But there is no moral consideration in that. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's uh, purely rational and not, not uh, ethical thoughts because it's not trained on that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, values could be at stake. And for society it was always important if people could act, there's a responsibility attached to that. And so we have to find ways for AI as well. If we have intelligent agents which can behave freely in the field, they have to obey some rules to fit in our, in our societal framework. And if you have some advice for companies that start with AI and start defining such an AI ethical codex as well, what kind of tips do you have how they can start? Right. So, for instance, uh, starting with AI is uh, many places must be uh, many things must be in place then to, to start uh, with AI. So, in um, you have to be on a certain level of digitalization. Uh, so, AI uh, from the engineering perspective is a part of software. Mm -hmm. So, software engineering, data engineering, being able to train because the, uh, with AI is an, um, there's a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, systems are not not merely uh, not traditionally programmed, but are trained as well. So this is an, um, a paradigm shift in in the development, and you must understand it. And then, uh, depending on how the AI system is then deployed, whether it does interact with humans or in technology which interacts with humans, like cars or robots, also. Um, then um, we expect some behavior that it fits in this environment. And this we mean by ethos. So the, the original meaning of ethos is uh, what's custom, what can be expected. Yeah. 
And uh, this is what, in, in such a codex, it should be written how systems will behave and what's their uh, relationship to humans and to human agency and what's, what's the basic rules for that. And this we did in the codex. In an ethical way. Christoph, yeah. thanks a lot for sharing your insights from all the research that you have done. Thank you for watching here from VTW in Berlin. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.